Welcome to this fourth episode of this cycle of podcasts dedicated to human service fields. And this month, in the sign of cancer, we will be focusing on the field of creativity and culture, and in particular, how we become builders of a new culture. My name is Lorraine Flower, and I'm a member of the Community of Living Ethics, and your host for this podcast today. As the first sign of water, cancer brings us into contact with the sense of feeling, that faculty that allows us to perceive the psychic aspect of life, and if we choose to, take care of it. For sure, each of us remember moments when we entered in an environment where we felt comfortable or another in which we wanted to escape immediately without this being due to something visible. This is how the perceptual capacity of the invisible energy quality is expressed, which in turn allows us to choose to connect with more or less luminous energies. Which brings us to the task in cancer, which at a soul level is expressed in the motto, I build a house of light and there I dwell. Building presupposes being creators, having a project, the right material and knowledge to give birth to an illuminated house. We can therefore ask ourselves, for ourselves, for the groups to which we belong or for the whole world, what source inspires me to have a realization of a project? What types of energy do I use to create and be creative? What am I giving birth to creatively? And how does that support the evolution of humanity, even within its small dimension? It seems we can see cancer as an invitation to recognize and implement our potential to create the new, which brings us back to the joy of manifesting ourselves for what we are, that is, creators. So as today we explore the field of creativity and culture, we can consider how we can connect more fully with our feeling and sensing to express the creativity that sits within us. I'm delighted that today we're joined by Claudia Bombadella. Claudia is a complete musician, multi-instrumentalist, singer and composer. She plays a very broad range of instruments and her passionate research about the voice makes her an intense singer. Welcome, Claudia. Welcome, everybody. <laughs> oh, thank you so much for being with us today for this important subject at a time when our world needs us to express our creative energies because we know we need to look to build the new. This is so important. And as someone who's deeply immersed in being creative as a musician, as a composer, as a singer, I'd really like to get a sense of what it means to be creative today. Maybe you can tell us a little bit about how you relate to this idea of creativity. Yes, thank you for this beautiful question. And uh, I, I often think about this and it, it's changing, of course, and getting deeper. And <laughs> now the year passed and passed. So uh, what I, I can say now is to me, this uh, um, creativity, the, the, this concept is a space, is an inner space uh, that prepares us and um, allows us to enter beyond the rational uh, mind, beyond the limits, beyond the, this three-dimensional world. And uh, it's more an act of receiving the information of of the universe, which has a, 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 another a specific language, more than acting. The, act, the acting is, of course, the, 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 second, uh, the second step. But uh, first of all, it is this, this capacity to um, tune in 
and, and receive the information in a way that I would say is res- resonance. Mm. Mm. So it, it is really interesting because uh, our mind has this incredible power to give the direction of where I, with what do I resonate? And so I think that uh, what you have to do is, is very much to uh, be able to select and really practice this uh, uh, receiving information, resonate and uh, um, recognize when this resonance is not uh, good for us. Mm. Yes, that. Mind these mind these mind are mind no mind thank mind you mind and I should I should have said for our listeners that of course <laughs> you are a native Italian and you're very generously um, speaking in English with us today so thank you for that and I love the little addition of some Italian words in there too um, <laughs> yes as I as I'm listening to you Claudia what I'm what I'm hearing is is those two parts that opening ourselves up to receive the the impulses the information that is mm-hmm. is already in the universe but needs a channel to come into and then the second part of that is then how we act and how we use our mind to help us to make the choices about yeah. what we will do with that information but that important phrase of of being in resonance now as a as a musician of course the language that you've used there has a very musical quality, but how would you see that being applied also for people who may not identify so much with the the world of the arts? I mean, creativity for me goes beyond music or painting or, or yeah. um, the drama, the the dramatic arts, and and into life. Can you mm-hmm. draw uh, that across to other? I I, I would say that. Everybody has uh, attention uh, towards something, towards uh, something material, energetic, spiritual, or mystical, or whatever. And uh, I, I think the first thing is we have to recognize which, where does this tension, which of course comes from the heart and and the, the, the coherence with our brain, but where is this uh, tension? Where does she want to go? So uh, once I recognize this, and this is, is, a, is a really path uh, through the truth. So truth is, is to me uh, the first expression of the creativity, of the creativity work, let's say, the, mm-hmm. the, mm-hmm. the practice. Uh, once we recognize this truth, uh, then we have to have, sometimes it takes courage because our, some, some, you know, life told us we, have, we are very little, but in fact we are, we are immense no? in, in, as human beings. And um, we have to, once we recognize this, we, we have to nourish it, to, to, to follow it. And, and, uh, and this um, will bring us to, 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 to this practice of resonance no? yes because yes. Uh, yes if i like uh, to 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 write let's say i i like to write letters i, I write the, so i practice this i don't have to think that it's a creative thing i just have to the creativity is inside mm. but it let's say what well, it de- it develops in art and this is for everybody you don't have to be artist but it develops in art when it has um, a form with geometrical structures that emanate uh, particular frequencies. Mm-hmm. And it can be very spontaneous. Mm-hmm. Very often it's spontaneous because it's directly from the universe. You get the information and transform it. So uh, it, it's important that we practice our tension toward yeah. something. And, and fascinating there also what you were saying about the, the role of the heart in this, because it, we know that the heart beats and, and we all have a physical sense of that in our body. And yet there's also that deep energetic yeah. um, uh, role uh, that the heart has as, as a container, as a, as a 
um, a receptacle of all the vibrations that are going on. And as we, as we open to the information that our heart is receiving or that it is holding, um, we may be open ourselves also to potential, to our potential to be creative. And I'm thinking here even of, you know, for those people who maybe think, well, I'm, um, you know, I work in an office or I, um, I'm a nurse or I do something, you know, I'm a physical worker, I do things with my hands. Where does, the, where does that resonance and creativity play its part there? But for me, that's, it's also possible to be, of course, it's a birthright. We are creative. Everything yeah. we manifest is an expression of creativity, would you say? Yes, yes of course. And I think uh, uh, the problem is not so much uh, what we do, but how much we recognize uh, that we are that our minds are trapped into this um, how do you say the, the, this uh, beliefs these false beliefs or beliefs that are not u- useful or that make us maybe believe that we, we cannot uh, create or be receptive. So uh, again, I think in, in, again there is this need of truth. So. To say, okay, uh, I, 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 my mind thinks that I cannot. This is the first truth. Then, okay, my mind, only my mind. But what does my heart say? No, mm-hmm. my heart say I like to write. I like to, to, to sing. I like to dance. Whatever. Uh, and so, this, this is a contradiction, little contradiction, not inside. But uh, what makes me feel good? what my heart thinks or what my mind thinks. So that is very interesting, no? So I recognize this belief. I say, ah, maybe it's a belief. I don't know, but maybe. So I, but I, I follow the path of, of my heart, of this tension. And then I, I, then this first little belief starts to fall. And then it, when this belief, this first belief that I am not able uh, is recognized, then you, you say, oh, Okay, maybe there are other beliefs beyond. So I am ready to uh, let them come and yeah. to, to, to see. And always this beautiful word that uh, I think is the word we have really to um, work on in this moment is the truth. Mm. Yes, it's interesting that, yes, again, that, that idea of truth in relation to these beliefs that we hold because about ourselves, because um, they are so limiting, aren't they? If, if, if we allow that, I mean, they're empowering as well if they're working in a certain direction, but they can be very limiting. And um, having the courage to free ourselves from that. But I think there's another aspect to it that often... Uh, people speak about and that's the the judgment of good and bad in Mm, the sense of you know I my heart may say I would like to do this but Mm -hmm. society says well unless you're good at it please don't do it and there's a kind of quality measure (laughs) somewhere in there about um, Mm -hmm. what does good creativity look like yeah. How, do you, how do you overcome that as someone oh, who yes. is, you know, in the public domain with your creativity? Well, it's it's an act of courage and of uh, faith. There's no way because I, I started uh, composing and I, I I always thought no, it's not it's not because you have these enormous fantastic composers in thousands of years. But one day I I, I just said okay, it, it, it's 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 what it is and then uh, sometimes it's useful and then you say okay it's useful this is this is very interesting sometimes it's it's useful for 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 my soul but it's also useful for sharing something different or it activates simply another thing like our mm. conversation now no it's, it's it's incredible what what we can activate with, with our little courage to express whatever it is. Yes. 
And of course, courage is a quality of the heart, isn't it? It's, yeah. it's, it's yeah. again, coming into resonance <laughs> with the heart, um, yeah. but using it with the, with the will, with the will. Yes, um, and another thing that maybe can be interesting, I make a, a little example, if you, if you think please, so. Please, 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 please. Uh, the, the, the importance of the uh, element of listening, no, that emerged now, if I listen to my heart and so, but the listening is really a, 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 an attitude that we can they listen with the ears, with heart, and, and, and with the eyes, or what, and other senses. But um, it uh, it brings us to perceive the truth. But it's not immediate because immediately we are in the mind, and the mind also has many uh, how do you say uh, strata, yeah, layers or levels. Yeah. Yes, yeah. So it's interesting because you see things from the different perspectives. But when, for example, I listen, I, I listen to my voice, okay? Well, so I, I listen to my sound, and the first thing, as you said, there is the black and white. It's I like it or I don't like it. And this is, we have to pass this and say, okay, but it's okay, I think this, but what is this? How is this sound? Is it a clear sound? Is it a deep sound? It's a, uh, whatever, no? And I try to, to enter in a... In a deeper listening so I forget I like it or I don't like it and there slowly emerged the truth and so I discovered that my sound has many qualities and this is extraordinary because I am not anymore in the mind I am in the perception which the more and more I listen it gives me other information because it gives me also the information of this uh, room, of the quality of the wall, of the of the quality of resonate that resonates, and 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 and. Yeah. So what you're starting to do here, Claudia, is, is help us to almost have a little bit of a um, a recipe or an insight into into the creative process because. Um, by, as you say, coming into our heart and then now through what you've just described, that process of overcoming the mind. Yes, we have to challenge our beliefs, but also as we take up our courage and, and have a go at something and then overcome that first black and white um, judgment and go into the deeper qualities, we can see almost a... Um, a guidebook or a recipe starting to unfold here for how people might um, expand their relationship with their creative forces, their ability to be creative and come into relationship with them. How was that for you? Did you, did you know from a very young age that you had this ability to listen and to um, be in resonance with your heart or did you have to go through some deeper practices for yourself. Yes, I, I made a lot of practices, <laughs> many, 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 many. Uh, I, I was maybe um, fortunata. I was uh, lucky. Because, lucky, yes, because I, I was born in a, 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 a German mother, Italian father, and in a country where you speak French. So <laughs> the, the fact that I, when I, I was born, I spoke three languages directly. So this, this uh, activated very much my ear. And also, uh, since I am born, I, I was singing in many languages. So mm. I was very lucky in this, uh, <laughs> in this way. But of course, um, I, I, I appreciated this, this thing that later, la later on, because at the beginning, I, I had the very big identity problems. Mm. I am. I'm Italian. No, I am German. I'm Luxembourgish or whatever. And and of course there was was no answer. So uh, I have like everybody <laughs> had to make my path. And uh, uh, I must say the study of music. So my my heart tended to to the to, to music since I was little. It's, it's yes. True. Yes. And I had, I, I, it was not very easy, of course, uh, not always, but uh, 
I was uh, supported uh, and uh, I could do this this path. And, and of course, I have to make choices because if you decide to do only this, uh, <laughs> it's you need courage because yes. it's for the life is not easy. But um, the, the thing is, of course, for music, it's easy to think, but it must be like this for everything that we want to uh, get, where we want to get better. So also in, 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 in whatever creative uh, aspect is the, the, the practice. Mm, mm. The practice of, uh, um, of the listening. Mm. Because we, we are not, nobody teaches us when we are a little child to listen. No. Listen what the other person feels, maybe, or what you feel, or, or to listen the sound, to listen, to listen with the eyes, and and um, uh, so this is is the very easy practice, and there are thousands of, of ways. Of course, uh, also the um, balancing of the hemispheres, the with and the, the, trying to find coherence with the heart, not the, uh, the brain and the heart, and this is also there are many practices uh, like yoga, tai chi, qigong, mm. or whatever, are also uh, the capacity to to tune in inside meditation, or um, maybe also I, I think often we have this crazy part inside, no. And uh, I think Osho that, that worked very much on this thing. No, that you, 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 sometimes maybe just doing whatever the body wants to do, and this brings a, um, a balance mm. somewhere inside because the, the human being is so mysterious. And mm. I think this is this is the key when when you know that you really don't know, but you can be. So, uh, and who tells us who, what you can be in this moment, no? And, and maybe um, nourish this crazy, let's say, uh, part and uh, let it be is uh, one of the quickest way to enter into the creative. That, I mean, that, that sort of courage to dare to, to notice the being in this moment and, the, and as you said, some of the craziness. Um, uh, we live in a what can on the outside look like a very crazy world at the moment. And, um, uh, that is the real crazy. <laughs> that's the real crazy, yes. <laughs> but, and, you know, as creative beings, as human beings, we we have the capacity and indeed the responsibility, I would say, to be really conscious of what we are creating in the world and, and how we can help to change our world through the power of, of creative thinking, creative action, um, a creative heart. Mm -hmm. And so I'm, I'm curious about your thoughts about um, the value of imagining, of imagining new ways of living, new ways of being, and how this relates to the creative process, you know, as we allow ourselves to dream or to, to see mm -hmm. something different or new mm. or beautiful. Mm. Yes, uh, I think we can only see uh, the new if we stop looking. So, uh, because otherwise the, 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 the old always emerges, no? And, and how can we imagine something different if if we are full of, of stuff who comes to the brain or to and to the heart but i think if if the the whole humanity would enter into this um, space of 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 creati creativity so resonance and being like an antenna uh, it was the that would this act action would generate the new culture this new way of uh, uh, relating to to all, mm -hmm. <laughs> to, and it, it would be based, of course, on truth, on on um, what we need really, and uh, on respect, on love, on on, on beauty, on joy. Uh, so, th because this attitude, you cannot you cannot uh, enter into this space if if you have em emotion uh, low emotions. It's impossible. Mm -hmm. 
Yeah. So we, we have to get in touch with those parts of ourselves that are prepared to be more open and, and, um, that, the word you used there that I that I also thought was very useful was that relationship, be in relationship yeah. with with both ourselves, but also with the world we live in. Mm. Um, we're coming to the end of our time, and I'm going to ask you what might seem to be quite an impossible question, given everything we've talked about. But I'm wondering if there's something uh synthetic or concise that you would want to leave our listeners with in relation to this whole journey of creativity and and building a new world building a new culture but but from our small place not not because we have you know we don't have to take everything on our shoulders but we can be yeah. part of that process anything you would like to say to kind of sum yes, up this? i have something to say because i was very touched by um a speech of a Tibetan monk, which called the Lopsang Turku. And he said that uh, our mind has to be controlled, control, uh, has to be nourished, etc., etc. But he, he described and, and gave a mantra that is this synthesis for, to me, because it, it's simple and it's really for everybody, uh, even also for the animals. And, <laughs> and it, uh, this mantra is, I will never stop to train or to practice to be happy. Ah, it's yeah. simple, yeah. And, and this opens. This puts you in a in a in a in a dimension, in inner dimension. That from there you can start you know, to listen to. So this practice of of uh, I will never stop. I I I I play with it all the time. I I wrote songs and uh, chorales with it because it's so it's so funny, and um, repeating it simply uh, cleans something. Wonderful! It's wonderful. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> and I love I love that word practice because it takes away all the need for perfection and just says be with. Be with yeah. it, be with the joy of the practice and of yeah. the experience of doing something that your heart says is yeah. good and enjoyable or has some potential, whatever that looks yeah. like. Yes. Yeah. And then the intuition or, or um, this relation with the creative world, is, it, 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 it happens. Yes. We don't have to do it. <laughs> we are just you have to practice <laughs> we have to practice and we have to practice being receptors as you said I, again that that image of the antennae was very was very powerful claudia we could talk so much more yeah. and 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 Lorraine, other... I thank you so much ah oh, thank you <laughs> thank you thank you and um i hope our listeners have have um been able to connect with something for themselves i'm sure they have it's been a very rich uh, sharing and uh, on behalf of the community of living ethics and all our listeners thank you so much for being with us today and uh, look forward to seeing you very Bye. soon yeah <laughs> thank you claudia thank you thank you <laughs> This podcast was offered by the Community of Living Ethics, Umbria, Italy, and freely inspired by Aldebaran, the community's astrosophy group, and by our research on service.